Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm an analytics architect with the IBM Maximo development team. In today's video recording, I'm going to highlight the new Service Request Work Center and how you can configure it to meet your individual needs. Oftentimes, you want to create your own categories so your users can quickly select a category, the issues associated with that, to improve how they input their information and also to ensure a consistent flow of information. So what we're going to do in this demo is I'll add a new category and then underneath that category we'll associate a number of problems or common issues associated with that so again it can make it much much quicker as the user flows through the input of their service request. So to do that, I have to sign out of the role as the service requester, and I have to access Maximo Classic. So I'm going to go over in Maximo Classic today and sign in as user Wilson. Oops, dear, excuse me, let me try that again. Wilson, Wilson, I should really know his password by now. And again, we're going to work with two applications in Maximo Classic to configure these new categories and their associated problems. And I'm going to do that with the Classic or Core applications. And the two applications I'm going to work with is first a classification. What is that top level problem? So let me add a new record. And let's assume that we have a manufacturing or production floor and I have a receiving area. So I want to have a classification of receiving. And after I enter that, the two key things that I want to do here is I want to specify what objects I'm going to associate it with. Well, I'm going to use it with my asset object and also very importantly, my SR or my service request object. And let me go ahead and save that. After I've saved my classification, you may have noticed that the image dialog displays. This gives me the capability to add an image so my user, when they enter the service request application, they can quickly see this and this nice visualization can actually save them a little bit of time. So I'm going to select my doc, which is my receiving doc, as an image associated to this top level category. So again, it gives that eye catching mechanism. Well, my classification is saved. There's no particular status here. So that's my top level, but now I need to enable that second level or the list of problems associated with that. And the manner in which I do that is with the ticket te template application. So again, let me add a new record. And let's imagine um, that I first want to come in and specify the classification in the class. So it's my SR and my classification should be down here as receiving. Perfect. So let me go ahead and add that. And now let me specify the problem or the description. And let's say that there's intermittent, oh, I'll just say no power. I can't spell intermittent power for, uh, apologize for that. And let me go ahead and say save. Notice here it saves it as a draft status. So let's make sure we get that in a active status so it shows in my dialog. So the key points here, tick a template associated with that classification you just created. Make sure you have a status of active. Let's add another one. We're going to come with the same classification of SR and receiving. Let's come down here, receiving. So our first one was no power. Let's say, um, oh, maybe we have a water leak. That could be a common problem if there's, you know, a particular area or location on the dock. So I'm just going to go ahead and say I have a water leak. And again, make sure you change. Oops. Oh, good job, Pam. I cleared my, my changes. Try that again. Well, that's okay because now you guys know this is a real demo and we've all done that so many times, right? Uh, let's see. Receiving and water leak. Save. Perfect. Now let's click change status, the right, the right action there, Pam. Make it active. Okay. So we've added two common problem codes associated with the receiving dock. One, there's a problem with water. One, there's a problem with power. So let me come out of here and I'm going to sign out as my administrator. And then I'm going to go back over into my application and bring up our SR application. 
And let's see if those new categories and problems that we had selected display. So I go to my Manage Service Requests, click Plus. Here's our new Receiving category. And as I can click on there, no power and water leak. So you can now quickly see how easy it is for you to configure these top level categories and common problem codes associated with those. So again, it's an improved flow of information from your service requesters, but also and very importantly, it ensures consistent flow of information. So with that, I'd like to thank you very much for your time.